the Joe Rogan experience. Hardly anybody is religious. Really? What are the numbers there? Ap- apart from immigrant Muslims who still are, but apart mm. from them, I don't know. They're, they're pathetically small. Is there any evidence that that is reaching the Muslim world as well, and that people are? Well, as, as I was saying, um, uh, the, the 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 downloads of of of. Of my, of my books have been encouraging. We have this thing called, CFI has a thing called the Translation Project, which is specifically in, in order to do that, in order to um, to take my books, and we hope other people's books as well, and put them into PDFs and then have them available for, for, for free download. And um, I hear evidence from I- Iran, from Egypt, from Saudi Arabia, from individuals who say, yes, there's now quite a substantial groundswell of anti religious, anti-Islamic opinion. And I think it's going to increase, and I'm really in- encouraged by that. One of the things about being Muslim, in my eyes, <clears throat> is very similar to being Jewish, is that Jewish people, it's, there are many Jewish people that are not religious, but they are Jewish. Like I have a very good friend, my, my friend Ari, he is, he is Jewish, but he is an atheist. And it's he identifies with being a Jewish person. He has Jewish relatives. His father uh, is a Holocaust survivor, but he looks at it like a thing that he's a part of, like a, a great long tradition that he's a part of. But he doesn't observe. No, I understand that. I, th- I think especially for people of Jewish heritage who have relatives killed in the Holocaust, I, I think it could be a matter of kind of loyalty to to their murdered relatives. Mm. I could easily get that. And I think that um, there are probably uh, cultural Muslims who who probably not for the same degree of loyalty, but really think of themselves as Muslims. I suppose I'm a cultural Anglican in a way. I mean, I, I sort of, you know, I can sing the hymns and, and I my family observes Christmas in a des- desert sort of way. When someone sneezes, do you say bless you? Uh, I never did say bless you, actually. But, what but, do you but say? Gesundheit? I, I, ne- I, never, <laughs> I don't say anything, but I, I have no objection to saying Gesundheit right. or well, Gesundheit, of course, religious, not religious. But um, they, my college at Oxford uh, had um, a, a fellow who was a famous philosopher, a famous atheist, A.J. Eyre. And he, when he was senior fellow, he used to say grace at dinner. And when he was asked why, he said, I will not utter falsehoods, but I have no objection to uttering meaningless statements. And that's, that's what I feel. 